Wished! Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to me, Kante. Come to me, Kante. Oh, it's Kula Bali, is it? It's Kula Bali. It's Kula Bali, lads. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a short breakdown slash review of Kula Bali. So I had originally tried to sign Kante and Cristiano Ronaldo from the Showtime pack. I was initially disappointed, lads. I'm not going to lie, right? Another destroyer center back. But I definitely feel that Kula Bali is growing on me. He's a beast, man. He's so aggressive, covers so much ground off the ball. It's ridiculous, right? So when you're playing with a destroyer center back, okay? Don't overcomplicate it too much. Genuinely, don't overcomplicate it too much. Just get the ball, get rid of it as you're seeing here, and just keep it moving. That's all you have to do. Don't get too cute with the ball at the back. Just keep it moving the whole time, right? I think a lot of people try to play out a little bit from, you know, being a destroyer. I think a lot of the best work that destroyers do, if a destroyer is working in a system, it's all about the AI, right? I'm not a massive fan of the hand-holding that the game does with your defensive positioning, but that's where the game is at at the moment, and especially with destroyers, right? Every other centre-back playstyle is able to play forward a little bit. Destroyers are all about hassling, blocking passing lanes, and as you see here, positioning them themselves in the middle of the goals. If they get on wrong goal side, they'll course correct and go back, right? Destroyers are very overpowered at the moment. I would say that Puyol is one of the best players in the game at the moment because of his playstyle and the way he actually controls on the pitch. The AI are going to be controlling the, you know, Koulibaly in this clip. The entirety of this clip, I am not going to switch once to Koulibaly. But look how many chances that he stops uh, my opponent from actually putting through into a simple position. It looks easy until you break it down, right? I'm going to hassle, I'm going to win the ball back, we're going to lose it again, we're going to get the ball back in here. Now watch, I don't switch to Koulibaly once here. He switches position, he turns towards the goal, he's facing back, he's in mid-stride, he's going to be on goal side of the opposition uh, attacker, and this is what you want. You don't want to have to be fighting for control with the destroyers. Chase with your left back or your DMF or your left winger or your left mid, getting back, right? Obviously, the game is kind of like forcing you to go in central anyway, so the ball is always going to come in central. Very rare, unless you're getting a blitz shot curler or a cross, very rare you're going to have a chance come in that doesn't go into the centre. And I didn't touch the ball once with Koulibaly there, but he's done his job at just patrolling it. He's like a watchdog, right? So we've got his level training up here. You're going to take about roughly, I would say about what, 100,000 uh, XP. That's what he's going to roughly cost. Just a little under that, which isn't too bad for 28 levels. He's going to have his plus two booster as well. I am going to show you what I consider to be the ultimate build. To get the most out of Koulibaly, and in fact all destroyer centre backs, I 100% believe that you have to have high speed and stamina because of the amount of work that they do. Don't worry about the, you know, visual guide of the stamina or anything like that. It's more about how he controls on the pitch, right? You're going to see chance after chance after chance here where he's just patrolling. And when he gets the ball, it's a simple little pass. It's a simple little dribble to get out of position or to position himself or to get out of trouble. And then it's on again. Even when you lose the ball here, you're going to see his positioning, right? When we stop it here. Watch here. He's on goal side of the attacker. So when the ball comes in here, even though the goalie is going to get it, if my goalkeeper doesn't get it there, I do fancy my chances with Koulibaly to get up there and just be stronger to be able to push him off the ball, right? That's got a lot to do with the positioning that you have with your team, and it also has a lot to do with his stats. So this is going to be the ultimate version of him that I'm going to show you there, and you might notice that he's got 85 speed and 75 acceleration. The rest of his defensive stats are massive, right? 99 aggression is huge on this card. 96 tackling, 95 defensive awareness. And of course, you've got the heading at 80 and jumping at 81, right? 91 physical contact. I personally would have liked to have his heading up a little bit more. He can get caught a little bit flat-footed on the, on the ground. But this is a phenomenal card, lads, as a destroyer centre-back. I love him. I think he's a beast. He's definitely... Him and Puyol now are my two main uh, destroyer centre-backs to play beside Van Dijk, right? So we have gone for this build, 6 into Dexterity and lower body, 5 into Aerial and 14 into Defending, right? You can mess around a little bit with the speed and put it in a little bit into Jump or a bit more into Aerial Strength, but I feel this is the best version of him by a mile, right? Now, a couple of talking points. You will notice here that with the 6 into lower body strength, I am using 10 Hags, so I'm going to be getting the plus 3 boost from his booster and the manager boost, right? And the plus boost to his, or sorry, from the manager boost and 10 hags boost, right? So if you are not using 10 hag, you will only have 84 on this speed build. 
I think having 85 with these player skills, if you're able to put on acrobatic clearance on this guy, it will help a little bit with clearing the ball in the air, as well as from awkward angles as well, right? But it's not a difficult, difficult one. As I said, the minute that you see the ball, right, I kind of treat my destroyer centre backs, right, as kind of like home and missile last defence. Very, very high risk, high reward, and it's all about positioning. But when you actually start to control them, you definitely want to win the ball as soon as you possibly can. Here, I switch to Kula Valley. There's no other option to let the AI defend him, so I'm in with a slide tackle and I get lucky. So I definitely think that he's a beast. I definitely think that if you have spun for him and you were looking for Ronaldo or Kante, I definitely think you should give him a go. And any destroyer centre back that you get, I have done videos on it where we talked about destroyer versus anchorman CMFs or DMFs. I definitely feel that centre back destroyers at this present moment are beastly in the game. So I will say give him a definite uh, go if you got him and let me know what you think about him. If you think he's a beast or not, let me know in the comments below. We'll be back very soon. Tomorrow I'll be doing a gigantic stream. So hope to see you guys then.